Welcome to another video. This time I will take you on a journey of some sensual woods. So I'm very passionate about this topic. I love such fragrances when it's not too heavy duty, not too warm, spicy, but it's rather sensual, cozy. I chose unisex and niche fragrances in this video, so I hope you like them. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, support my channel. It helps me a lot. And let's get into the video. Let's start this video with the first fragrance. So this is the it fragrance when it comes to sensual powdery woodsy fragrances with some hazelnuts with iris and this fragrance it's something you have smelled before and yet you don't know what it is but you know you need it you know you want to smell it again and again it's such a sensual warm cozy fragrance and i chose two fragrances from the same fragrance house and this one has been um kind of hyped up on youtube and it's for a reason this is an uh, la la by teo cabanel love this fragrance a lot love it a lot this is that tonka bean that white mask and um, it has hazelnuts um sandalwood a little bit of some tobacco and the beautiful french chic elegant minimalist bottle you know what this smells like not like books but like library or a store you are in a store and you see there are new products like new clothes new luxury bags and you smell them when you smell new clothes this is what they this is what it smells like you add a little bit of forest some sandalwood and iris some hazelnuts and you get ooh -la -la. and you know the addition of oris and iris create that magic in this fragrance it's a very nutty woody powdery iris fragrance what do you get as those sensual woods like it doesn't get any more sensual and versatile than Ulala by Teo Cabanel so yeah an amazing fragrance um the next fragrance from the same fragrance house is called Je ne sais quoi and this is a sample Je ne sais quoi is that dry warm and cozy sensual woody and powdery matcha tea fragrance it's, it's matcha tea it's mate it's rice it's some woods love this fragrance a lot the longevity is actually very good i think it's a little bit better than ooh -la -la, but this is sweeter muskier woodsier a little bit more gourmand it's like delicious but not gourmand it's a delicious green mate like green tea woody fragrance with a violet leaf it has the violet leaf it has tall balsam it has kayak wood but overall it's a very soft delicious green tea matcha tea rice fragrance the rice really adds here let's see the crispiness of uh, the texture the dried feel maybe like cornflakes or something it's it's an amazing fragrance so woozy so delicious and yet not not gourmand so yeah je ne sais quoi by teo cabanel the next fragrance is a lactonic musky woozy heaven this fragrance is like it combines my two favorite directions or notes sandalwood and lactonic notes here you have some interesting notes skin milk um ambroxan cashmere and cumin um that sandalwood and uh, this is a new fragrance this was sent to me but i tested all fragrances and i'm just in love with this one uh this is what a creamy and a little bit lactonic sandalwood smells like but do test this fragrance first as it can turn sour on some people it didn't turn sour on me so I love it this is piano Santal by El Orchestre Parfums I've had it for I think six days and I've used up a little bit more I see I love it Kashmir and white musk kumi and broxen that cedar and also milk skin sandalwood you see it's all about those beige undertones like skin and milk and woody nuances uh, it, it smells brownish and beige very elegant so smooth it has the slightest spiciness in it so i would say if you're looking for a beast fragrance a heavy duty long lasting fragrance that this is not it it stays closer to the skin after maybe three hours doesn't project as much and it really like it sits on your skin and feels like you your skin fragrance but better with those like tonic and woody nuances so definitely try it perfect for fall and winter maybe now so yeah el orchestra parfum now a fragrance house that i adore i have a one full bottle and then i chose one sample both of these fragrances are what sensual woody fragrances are about the first one is a little bit more crispy sweet sandalwood with some iris i think also tonka bean and this is Santal austral by matir premier um again i have talked about this fragrance i have reviewed it but it's one of the most long-lasting sandalwood fragrances with iris it has 
the crispy sweetness and it has an eternal longevity and it projects and projects but it has such a soft profile with that mm, buttery or nutty iris and yet it's crispy sweet and then the sandalwood is blended to perfection you know material premiere they create fragrances every fragrance concentrates or revolves around one fragrance note and then they take the fragrance note to the next level gorgeous creation now the next fragrance from the same fragrance house is boy um i, I like my pronunciation you know boy de so this is kayak wood with some patchouli um this is a woody fragrance with patchouli that isn't overwhelming and it smells like the most sensual and delicious woods musky woods i do like this is a delicious woozy fragrance next level niche sensual delicious woozy fragrance without being gourmand fragrance the Gayak with a little bit of patchouli. It also has the Cypriel oil and juniper berry. So I thought there was some incense and something a little bit greenish, but it's the Cypriel oil that creates uh, the smokiness that feels a little bit incense-y, maybe a bit green, and yet it's very warm, it's sweet. Perfect for fall and winter, uh, pretty much any occasion. If you're looking for um, a woodsy fragrance that would smell during spring, fall, summer, and it will get you compliments without being overpowering or too sexy, that would really smell just sensual, then bought the Ebene by Matir Premier. This is an amazing release, such sensual delicious woods with a bit of patchouli and then the musky feel to it so sensual so soft on the skin i'm a huge fan of this fragrance i don't own it um i have central austral i have used that one i used up two tiny bottles now i have this one uh, but yeah if you're looking for the next level sensual warm delicious woodsy fragrance then um bois de abana is for you the next fragrance is actually a discovery set i bought maybe one or two weeks ago from Amwash. So Amwash has this Renaissance collection and this one is upside down, but it has four fragrances. And um, I chose for this video Meander just because it is. This fragrance is so soft and woody and a little bit um, smoky. The opening can be a little bit more as it has the carrot seeds and it's a little bit more peppery. And it also feels slightly green. I think it has some cypriol oil here you have it with oris then some sandalwood and floral nuances but i love this fragrance actually many people were disappointed by the renaissance collection but meandra is that softy it's soft and i do see why people don't like it if you're a fan of unwash and you don't appreciate uh, this collection or this release you know the dry down is crowd pleasing mass appealing kind of kind of very subdued meandra is those softer smokier woods with the most mass appealing base totally unisex versatile fragrance a soft meander so yeah that was amouage the next fragrance a fragrance and that is a dupe of tom ford oud wood but the dry down gets a little bit more ambery so it's like a bit more sensual and i love this fragrance unisex maybe a bit more masculine leaning so this is our rack by spirit of kings what a beautiful fragrance um you definitely get there the cardamom the citron pepper it's aromatic and the agar wood some tonka bean it's a very sensual unisex fragrance if you love oud wood by tom ford but you're looking for something a little bit more ambery i think it's made by the same perfumer i'm not sure but if you're looking for oud woods um dupe that is a bit more longer lasting and it's a bit more ambery in the dry down and smells sensually just like sensual woods then try Zaurak. the next fragrance is a fragrance i have again mentioned so many times but i do have to mention it it's that um cozy very warm and yet cool fragrance it has the lavender it um, it has the it factor i love it a lot and i love the longevity i love the projection it's not too loud not too warm spicy it's actually very cooling refreshing and uh, refreshing and then warm and so sensual so this is rehab by Inicio. it it has the creamy woods uh, it also has the lavender. I'm not the biggest fan of lavender in fragrances and it has here you know, the woodiness and the, um, the lavender and then also some ambery nuances. 
I do smell here a lot of cinnamon. It's a, it's a wonderful, cozy, sensual fragrance that is long lasting, projects a lot, but it never feels too much. I love the combination of warm and cool undertones in this one. So yeah, rehab. The next fragrance is from a discovery set, a set. I have two fragrances from this fragrance house. And if you're looking for something unique, different, delicious, a little bit oriental with some depth, uh, then you need to try this fragrance house. Let's have a look at uh, the discovery set. So this is Une Nuit Nomad. And this is what the set looks like. And when you open it, you have that at the samples and also um, those papers, you know, so you can try a, for a specific fragrance, you have one stripe. And the fragrance I chose for this video that re really smells like clean, musky, sensual woods with some bergamot. But it's not like um, what Sage Sea Salt by Jo Malone um, that everybody loves. So this one is more woody and powdery and musky heaven. And uh, the fragrance is called Nothing But Sea and Sky. So this is what the stripe looks like. And in the notes you have Australian sandalwood, white musks and Italian bergamot. This is really that sensual, musky, not too clean, woody heaven. I really see myself on a beach, but it's not a tropical beach. You're maybe, you, you're maybe wearing, you know, some warmer clothes. It's chilly outside, but sunny. And the ocean and this fragrance is a little bit salty and musky. It's a musky heaven without feeling like it's fresh, clean. And it has the warm woods. Uh, you know, it has the Australian sandalwood. It creates just the warm feel on your skin. It gives me that cool girl vibe. You know, if you're looking for something different than Wood Sage, uh, Wood Sage Sea Salt by Jo Malone, you're looking for something a bit less citrusy, less, less, less of that what Jo Malone has, but more neutral for any occasion and more of that Australian sandalwood that feels sensual, then try nothing but Sea and Sky by Una Nuit Nomad. The next fragrance of that is also woody, but it's maybe a little bit more winter appropriate. It's very warm. It has cotton candy in the pyramid, some amber, uh, I think a little bit of rose and then sandalwood. It's dry, it's crispy, a little bit powdery, and yet it feels thick. The longevity and projection is amazing stays on your skin on your clothes forever and this is my magnificat by quinto canto this is a beautiful a beautiful fragrance um if you love warm ambery woody fragrances oh yes it's so sensual and warm and sweet it has the cotton candy but it doesn't smell like a candy you know it 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 adds to that crispy sweetness really like cotton candy you know and it's like crispy a little bit and airy it adds to it that airy and fluffy feel to it so the woods are sensual and then a little bit of the amber with the sweetness it's very sweet very warm very cozy and long lasting so yeah that was magnificat if you're craving something for the winter with um some woods with the cotton candy and the amber probably one of the most also winter heavy fragrances in this list. The next fragrance is again a sam sample and I do have two bottles, but I chose this sample. Um, this is probably a little bit more feminine leaning if you don't like floral uh, woody fragrances, but this one, this is number six by Rosenda Mateau and this is Jasmine Sandalwood Oriental Musk. What a beautiful woody floral fragrance. It is so sensual, so elegant. Um, I have used up this sample, as you can see. And, and it's that powdery and musky woody floral fragrance, uh, as I said, with jasmine, with sandalwood, white musk, some vanilla, some spicy notes, exotic nuances, but in the end, this smells so balanced. One of the most interesting fragrances actually from this list. I love Rosinda Matu and their creations. Really uh, something new, something different. Uh, this one smells also musky and powdery. I highly recommend the fragrance number six from Rosinda Matu. And let's do the last fragrance, which is by a fragrance house. They sent me uh, their discovery sets and I've had it for maybe, I think almost one year. And uh, there are so many fragrances, but for this video, I know I liked one and that was Cream Imperial from Navitus. This fragrance, this is your white floral, woody, warm, spicy, a little bit um, fruity iris. What I appreciate in uh, their uh, smaller sized bottles, so this is a test on how huge it is. Is it seven milliliters? Such a soft sprayer. Wonderful. It's creamy. 
it's really creamy it's blended nicely it doesn't feel like it's too much and it really feels so sensual it does feel a little bit kind of a little bit delicious without being delicious you have there the plums and then some iris geranium cinnamon i think a bit of a rose um i think some amber nuances or benzoin and then the woods gayag wood and cedar this is creamy white floral with some woody nuances so it's not a woody centric like wood centric fragrance but this is that woody very unisex white floral a little bit of warm spicy fragrance with some iris but as i said what i love in this fragrance it's so creamy it's blended to the perfection it's sensual really sensual not too warm spicy not too creamy not too do gourmand heavy uh an amazing fragrance cream imperial by navages and that was it for this video uh, with some sensual woody fragrances. Let me know if you have or know these fragrances. I'll also suggest some fragrances in the comments. What are your favorite sensual woody fragrances that are versatile for any weather, any occasion? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye-bye.